For those of you who have not seen my homemade tablet video or any other videos regarding my VIO UX 280p UMPC, what Sony calls a micro PC, um, because UMPC, which was the standard term at the time, was a bad word in Sony's eyes. Anyway, I've got one of these. Uh, mine came with Windows XP. They had a later edition, which as you can see here, runs Windows Vista. And I've even had mine running Windows 7 for a short while. Mine was actually um, eligible for a free upgrade to Vista. Biggest mistake I ever made in my life. Um, but uh, you need to remember that was before we all found out that Vista was a pile of garbage. Anyway, <laughs> anyway um, so I had it running Windows 7 for a little while and it actually worked out well. But Sony's always had a thing for rather unique, sort of out there kind of products. This was one of them. Um, right now, I've got mine running Fedora. Which, uh, incidentally, if you want to see that in action, you can take a look at my homemade tablet video. So, after these basically flopped, Sony tried again with the Vio P, which a lot of people would call. It's one o'clock. A lot of people will call it a netbook. Sony calls it a lifestyle notebook. Again, netbook, the conventional terminology. Sony just doesn't like that, and I don't understand why. Anyway, um, this particular run ran Windows Vista at first, and then they ran Windows 7. But as you can see, very, very unique shape. Very unique um, profile. Now, for those of you who are Sony very close Sony followers, and at times, I, at times I am as well. It depends on the product. But um, particularly like the, with their next cameras, I usually follow them pretty closely. But for those of you who do follow their notebook line, um, I am aware that the P series was succeeded technically by the W series. The W series, though, I never really considered any, anything unique. It was just a run-of-the-mill uh, netbook to me. So anyway, um, after the P series came and went. They had the W series, again a conventional netbook, but now they're trying again, and this time I think they may have actually found a successor to this. I think they finally have found a successor to the UX series micro PC, and that would be this. The VIO Duo 11. The VIO Duo 11 is a Windows 8 powered uh, notebook tablet conversion deal. But as you can see, it's got a very similar um, similar uh, form factor to the Asus. Um, shoot, which one of these? Which one of the tablets is? Asus has released so many tablets, I can't keep the names straight. But it's the one with the slide-up keyboard. Um, trust me, I'll think of it after I stop the video. <laughs> um, but if you've seen that t tablet from Asus, the Android tablet, same thing here. Um, but it's got the slide-up keyboard. It's got a much bigger screen than the UX series. Now, something to note about these computers. For their class, they were very expensive. This particular system here, $2,000 when new. The Vio P, $800 when new when you look at comparable systems running at about half that. So I'm expecting the Duo 11 to have a similar price point. And that's one of the things that actually irks me. Um, Sony's always um, had a thing for charging a premium for their systems, but I think that this is a really, really cool design. Um, now, for those of you who are unaware, there's also another convertible system running Windows 8 from Toshiba. That would be the U925T. And I think that of the two, you can Google that one and take a look at the pictures. Of the two, I would personally pick the Vio Duo 11 because it seems to be a much portable package, much more portable package. Um, I don't know what the specs are on the Duo 11, but I would have to say that so far, as far as Windows 8 computers, this is easily topping my favorite list. We'll have to wait and see what other people come up with. But so far, I like this one a lot. But what do you guys think? Um, for those of you who are curious, and I know that there are a lot of people on my list who are screen reader users, I'll explain the Toshiba to you. Um, picture a ThinkPad with the convertible tablet design, 
the one where you basically take the monitor, rotate it 180 degrees, and flip it down on the keyboard. Well, this one has a similar form factor except for one difference. You can fold back the monitor so that it's flat and facing straight up, but instead of rotating it 180 degrees, it slides down. So if you have the computer laying on a flat surface, you can take the screen and move it back to 180 degrees and then slide it towards you. Okay, that's the design that I'm talking about. Which is actually kind of similar to this. The only difference between them is the um, Viodulo 11 has a, dedic has a um, little pointer nub here in the center. Uh, similar in design to the Vio P. Which incidentally, I was actually at a local electronics store the last time I saw this thing on the shelf a couple years ago. I kid you not, somebody actually managed to steal the nub, the pointer nub, out of this thing. I don't know how they did it, but they did it. Um, I guess it mustn't be too hard, too hard to rip off. But anyway, similar design here in the Duo 11 that I really like. The Toshiba, on the other hand, has its own dedicated uh, trackpad. The screen's a little bit bigger, and also it's a little bit, um, at least from the looks of it, from what I've seen, it's a little bit heavier. So I think that if uh, between the two, I would go for the Vio 11 if I were to pick a Windows PC in the future. But um, what do you guys think? Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome, and have a nice day.